Greetings and welcome back to Starship Theory. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, thank you guys so much for your very helpful comments. Um, we are, I did batch record the last bit, um, and now you can change the engines uh, so that they don't have to stay so much inside your ship if you wanted to, uh, which provides some interesting possibilities. I don't know if we'll actually take charge of that or not, or make um, make use of that, I should say. But this is a problem, um, and I think it's specifically arbitrary. I hope that's right. Um, anyway, thank you so much for the tips, um, and they say that uh, this is not a good idea because they cannot put out the fires on anywhere where they have to reach over two tiles. So I'm going to have to change this design uh, a bit. Um, so let's just start working on that. I think at the moment, I think I'm just going to, well, let's just, let's build this out and th they can work on this as we're working. But yeah, we are, oh, whoa, hello. We have, um, we have asteroids, right? Let's deal with those first, of course. And I forgot what we're even needing, to be honest. And the other thing is, apparently, the, um enemy ships are um, matched to you by mass of the ship. So we may be <laughs> in fairly big trouble if we come across uh, an, an enemy ship because apparently the enemy ships are quite dangerous. And now we're building this gigantic ship. So <laughs> we may have bad luck, but we have right now a, um, a really nice hard to talk and shoot asteroids. Um, we have jump drive, which is charged right now. Uh, the, the dev has also made some really interesting changes to the game, whereby if you are in a fight situation with a hostile ship, the other ship will not leave. It used to be that they were kind of like on a timer, and if you could wait them out or, oh, 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 silicon, hello. Um, basically just wait out all of their attacks, then they'd go away. But uh, now they will not leave uh, unless you either bribe them or attack them or something. And speak of the devil, there it is. Uh, yeah, they're coming down. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, so I'm kind of interested to see about this. We have a single laser uh, that I can recall. And of course, right now we're still looking for enough silicon to make some kind of weaponry. Now somebody suggested that I should have something like 20 or 50 lasers, which seems like an awful lot. I feel like I'd rather build this, um, uh, what you would call it, missile thing. Why don't, I forgot what I got. What did I get? I got a rail gun. Yes, a rail gun. Um, I feel like we should build that first because that's kind of dangerous, uh, but we're just waiting very patiently for silicon. Ship is coming. Do they hate us? Yes, they do. Right. Uh, is... Okay. Oh, and I should have called a blue alert prior to that happening. Okay, come on, guys. Please, come back. Come back. Here, I'll grab this water while you guys are coming. Alright, take these things. Get this metal. Come on, guys. Are you in? Nope, we have one person. Come on, please, come in. Come in. Yes, good, good, good. Everybody's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I have six. Great. Boom. Yeah, so this is going to be a bad situation uh, if when this happens again. So I really am looking forward to getting plenty of silicon to build that railgun. And uh, let's go to our nav cost console to go to another asteroid field. field. Um... This is looking really dirty uh, and horrible. Can we ask somebody to fix this? We've got Axel is working on this stuff. Kieran is working on. You know what? Kieran's engineering is maxed right now. I'm almost feeling like I should like rotate people just to have them get better, uh, better uh, experience. So Kieran, I think you should be general for a while. Also, the other uh, professions level up more quickly now, which is really nice. Right, so in this situation, I'm... 
Yeah, we need the big growing bed, mostly because, you know, it enables one person, oh my god, one person to grow that much food. Uh, who are you? You're Tim. Tim, I'm gonna shut off food production because we have, look at how much food we have, 43 food and 226 water. We don't have to use that anymore. Uh, in fact, let's see, this is called a l large, large plant bed. Turn it off, please. Um, and so it assigns Karen to be, um, so Tim, would you like to be an engineer for a while? Yeah, how about that? You be an engineer. That'll be nice. Right, so I would like to maybe build this out a bit. Uh, engineering hull. Oh, and somebody was saying buy, uh, armor plates. Provides armor buffer and people can walk on top of this stuff, they said. So I'm guessing it would be good for the inside of the ship. Um, that, that's my thought here anyway. All right, so I think what I want to do is I will put in, I'll move, I'll basically extend this wall here. I might even remove these, uh, you know, I should just move the consoles back and make uh, more walls here. Let's just do that. Let's start with that. Furniture, chair, one, two, three, and then we'll delete these chairs. Gotta get these guys moved down first. Um, and then we will get, let's go build our hull out. So I'm thinking, uh, basically have a space here, and maybe we can have other stuff as well, and then just have the wall here probably the easiest thing to do like that yeah I guess that'll work okay and then we'll remove this bit and that bit and this bit and that bit as well and we'll put little decorative bits uh, extra in a bit okay so we go here and then another one there and then we can even have our little decorative corner like that okay good now none of this is causing costing us any silicon so let me just prioritize this stuff please thank you all right let's speed up time a little bit here I think I already went to the asteroid field so we should be good on that star detected ahead Hold on, hold on, I won't go that fast. Speed 2 is okay, I think, now. Um, oh, nice. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, please. Oh, lots of metal. Nice. Oh, yes, I will take that silicon. Absolutely, and we can start building our first railgun. In fact, I might even charge that first. Right, weapons, railgun, please, uh, prioritize, yeah. I also want to prioritize these chairs and the removal of the chairs as well. So just make sure that's working. Good, good, good. <gasps> no, oh my god, my ship is so wide. I kind of misjudged that big asteroid on the left. I thought, oh, that's not gonna hit the ship. Yes, it can. <laughs> Yes, KOS, it definitely can. And it did, I think. Did it delete anything? No. Because I saw this asteroid bouncing up. Right. Okay, let's go. I think the uh, silicon is 50 on that, or is it 100? It's 100. Oh, no. All right, well, we're still trucking along. We're, we're not done and dusted yet. We can make this happen. We can make silicon happen. So, and apparently we also have the ability to have uh, different trade orders or more trade orders. So I'm really looking forward to meeting a ship that we can trade with and hopefully won't kill us on first sight. Uh, that would be helpful. Okay, a little bit of water, metal, tiny, tiny bits of metal. 
Okay, there we go. Now, we can move these consoles, which I really would like. I, I need to cancel the railgun, though. Uh, because otherwise it's going to move all of those things the wrong way. Uh, engineering hull, please. Right there and there. And flooring, I can only put in one piece of flooring. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to take that out because I forget if they put it from the inside or the outside. If it's from the inside, life is not going to be good. So this is the navigation console. So we'll move this over. There we go. And this is a research console. So we're going to move this one and basically delete, remove these guys. And we're going to prioritize these to the top. There we go. Nice. So let's keep on mining as we're going along here. There's a little bit of metal. Good, good, good. Okay, there they are. They're going along. Yay. Doing stuff. Things are happening. Hooray. Okay, ship detected on long range scanners. Hull. I am kind of worried about this ship detected on long-range scanners. I hope they don't kill us. We need to get our navigation console back up immediately. I'm going to call blue alert, actually. Okay, good. So this can be removed. We can also go to an asteroid field. Okay. Ship is now on an intercept course. That worries me. Please don't kill us. We're only half done. Oh gosh. Oh, they have a red shield. Wow. Oh, it's probably been hit. Right. So we can buy silicon. Yes, we will. If we have enough money, let's sell metal. And I don't want to sell any gold, but 386, we can buy silicon. Yes, please. That'll get us much closer to our goal. Okay. Um, plus two target ship accuracy. Right. Mine is zero. <laughs> I have no weapons. Sensors. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off the blue alert since we really don't need it at this point. Um, and get our peeps working. I don't know why they didn't take out this stuff though. I mean, it's been prioritized. Come on. Come on, guys. Can you work on that, please? Um, we can also build a couple of hull pieces here as well. Otherwise, get things. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Right. Uh, I almost feel like I should turn on the plant bed again just because I can just turn that water into food. Um, plant bed. Large plant bed. Yeah, just turn it on and somebody can work on it. There's a little bit of metal there. Come on, I really want silicon. We need some way to detect what is in an asteroid. That would be most helpful. I don't know if that's uh, planned or possible, but... Star detected ahead. Okay. Not as bad as we might think. Oh, look at our silicon numbers. Very high indeed. Fantastic. Right. Railgun, we shall build you. Uh, weapons. There we go. Railgun. And we will prioritize this. Yes, please. Make it. Make it so, and we shall be able to defeat any aliens, any enemies that dare to threaten our plant beds. Because we're serious about growing food. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, more silicon. Tasty, yummy silicon. I was really looking forward to having those additional trade offers. Um, I, I just didn't, they didn't have any there. Oh, hello. Oh, so tasty. It's like refreshing glass of water there. Silicon. Oopsies. Hello. Oh, a little bit of metal there. And since we started this game, so. I, I really love that the dev keeps on improving the game constantly, and I'm really impressed that none of the saves so far um, have broken. Uh, I 
think, from the beginning of the game, or at least close there too. There have been a lot of updates uh, in between, but we have had a really, really nice run so far, and uh, I'm really impressed with it. Okay, sh um, but yeah, I uh, I forgot my train of thought. Pardon me. Okay, what do we have points in? <laughs> Utility. Let's see what we want to buy. I think, were we going to buy a medium heat vent? I think we were. I think that's what we were going to get. Um, yeah, that would be great if we get that. So I'm thinking we should get that. Medium heat vent. It has more capacity than a standard um, heat vent. So, right, let's buy this. Nice. And we have used our points. What else do we want? Do we want medium crates at all? We might. Health pad. Enables crew healing. Can walk over when not in use. A sensor array. We should build a sensor array. Why not? Do we have enough? No. Three. Alright, let's go. We will get that sorted. Oh, we have a real gun. Perfect. Right, so control group two is going to add this one. Okay. So I'll link those together. Not that the laser is going to do much, but... Uh, we do have the possibility. So let us grab, um, go to another asteroid field. I think I can prob, oh, hello. We need to get this hull sorted out here. So let's prioritize the whole hull right there. There we go. Okay, asteroid field detected ahead. We're almost uh, at our jump ability here, which is cool. All right, now, if I'm thinking about this, let's get that moved over. I'm gonna remove this. I really want to remove that chair, guys. Come on. Let's prioritize all of these things in this area, please. There we go. Because this should not be getting done right now. We want the other th stuff to get uh, moved along. Now, how are we doing on power? We have tons of power. So I think what I'll do is I'll remove this here and remove that heat vent and the same over here and then install two medium heat vents there instead of uh, the little ones because we are gonna get rid of all of these heat vents as well. So one of those is at least four. Um, it actually provides the same amount as five. I am looking to increase the heat dissipation capacity. Um, so I'm happy to be over on the amounts, but Still, we do want to get uh, those other things moved along fairly quickly. Okay, there we go. I have not checked on the prices of like water versus food. I'm hoping that food sells for a little bit more, but we will see. All right, so let's get these guys prioritized as well. Just break up all the things within our our vantage, our sight. Wow, so much there. A lot of water too. A little bit of water there. One day, I hope to see a gigantic silicon asteroid. That would be my like dream thing. <laughs> I really would like to see a huge one just coming down from outer space. Come on, silicon, we need you. Mm, that didn't have any silicon either. That one had a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is why I left that bottom um, sort of bar of, of, of hull uh, un un undeleted. Um, so that while I'm worried about asteroids, they can sort that stuff out. Ship on long-range sensors. Let's go to blue alert. Do I have enough stuff? I have plus one jump. Okay, that's okay. Not great. We are very almost short on CPU power. Um, right. Let's get... We need medium heat vent put in here. One, oopsies. One and two. Okay, that means we can move all of these guys 
because these, these are the ones that we're going to take out next uh, so we can start putting stuff around here. I also want to put in a door. I think it says it furniture, door, like right here. So we can um, separate these two areas just in case of emergency of some sort. So that should be good. We also are going to need our science console. I hope I'm going to have enough silicon for all this. So we'll see about that. But here's our research station. There we go. And at this point, we can also start getting things like a weapons console as well. Okay, so utility, we have five points now. Let's get the sensor array and we can build one. Oh, it's on the outside of the ship. Okay, um, right, I'll build one of them right there. It needs a lot of stuff. Well, we'll see how we can run it. We could always turn it off. Uh, do we have enough to build this? Yes, we have enough uh, silicon and that's good. So what do we have here in ship accuracy? Compared against enemy evade. Huh. We probably need to add, um, add other things as well. Do we have a mining extension thing? Yes, we do. I forgot what it looks like. Oh, it looks like this. Okay, I think we have one of them. Right, we probably need to have a second one <laughs> at the very least. But we could also have some life support going here. Uh, that might be prudent just to fill all of these areas with air. Uh, this is quite a big room. So anyway. Oh, and there's another problem is this reactor is also another big one. Right, so we have a ship on an intercept course. Our jump drive is ready and our crew is in the ship. So if we need to jump, we can jump. Hi. You're gonna kill us, aren't you? All right, we're gonna jump. Bye. Sorry. I think we really need to get to a point where we have lots of weapons uh, to be able to take on these other ships. All right, let's head for another asteroid field so we can go for more stuff. More, more, more stuff. Let's prioritize these items, please. I need those heat vents in so I can remove these heat vents. Uh, and indeed, we gotta get this some way to walk around the reactor. I could move the reactor to the left, but we're gonna need another tile in the bottom here. Um, so that might kind of cut into my plans at the moment. All right, they're working on stuff, which is nice. Very nice. But yeah, I would love to sell somebody my food. I feel like I'm, I'm like a space bar farmer at this point, uh, making so much food, and, and uh, I'd love to share the bounties with uh, the world. Oopsies, there we go. Put it on medium speed is okay, I think. Come on. If only these peeps were not so hostile. But I also might want to start researching defensive items. And you know what? Let's do that. Let's change to... Should we do... Maybe we should go for some shields. All right. So let's go for just defenses. Basically, put all the points into that. Oopsies. Get that sorted out. Right. There we go. Oh, I remember what I was going to say previously. Yeah, it's... um. The thing about, I think, the general uh, job, being a general crew member, you they um, the first skill that's upgraded is agility, so they can walk faster, and it's 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 kind of a nice thing. Though, which means they can also put out fires faster, <laughs> or at least get to them faster. I don't know if they if it affects the actual getting them, but um, anyway, yeah. Okay, while we're safe, we can let's remove these heat vents here. One, two, three. Okay, and we will prioritize that. At the moment we don't care about that bottom section because <laughs> we really can't do much about it. Um, whoopsies. Oh, I'm not worried about tiny little rocks hitting me. It is not relevant. Oh, oh. 
little bit of water there. I don't really care. We have so much water. We're practically drowning in it. Um, oh, a little bit of silicon. <laughs> it's still rare. Rare as anything. All right. Okay. So, um, now, 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 we can get this going. This is going to be perfect. We're going to be able to walk around the plant beds um, and put something on this wall if we want to. Ooh, I need to open up this door. Unlock the door. There we go. So our peeps can walk around. And we will prioritize this whole area. Nice. Oh my goodness. My cat is laying in the most cute position ever created. What was that? Large engine was destroyed. By what? Ah, uh, that was interesting. Okay, um, <sighs> that was very weird. Can you guys put that out, please? Right immediately now? Like now, 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 please? Yes, fires, everybody? Yes, excellent. Good job, Axel, you're, you're getting it sorted. And we need to prioritize fixing this area as well. Repair the floor and the hull. Wow, I did not even s Whoa, <gasps> that's why, oh shoot. They haven't been maintaining these guys. Okay. See, there's um, there's very little hit points on this. So we absolutely need the engineers to repair this. Oh, man. Okay, can I put this here? No? Oh, he's still repairing the hull. Okay. So, yeah, that was bad. Um, oh, dear. We have a problem. Slight problem. Just slight. Um, hmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. All right, we're going to try to turn on our two small engines and see if that makes enough difference. Um, engines, small engines, medium engines, they're called. Oh, yes, we, we can make it. We can make it. Let's go to blue alert and we will allocate somebody to be an operations person. Let's, let's uh, allocate, well, let's see if they're hostile first. Yes, they are hostile. Fantastic. Kieran, how about uh, being operations, if you could? We have minus one here. Uh, oh, and we can't do much. We, okay, we're going to start fighting them. Uh, red alert. Okay, what do we want to target on these guys? Probably either a CPU panel, which is that color, this one, I think, or the reactors. Now, the reactors, let's see, a CPU array has 120 hit points. A large or medium reactor has 240 hit points. Right, so we're going to have to target the CPU, I think. Um, wow, this is just bad. All right, we're gonna tr we're gonna try this. I don't think we're gonna survive, but we're gonna have a go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn on our railgun. Do I have? I don't even have. I don't have a console, a weapons console either. Um, is everything on? Let me make sure the laser's on. I'm really I'm worried about this. I really am very worried about this. Can you shoot, please, guys? Oh boy. Life is not going really well here. I'm gonna let you guys repair stuff. We just cannot even get through these shields. Oh my god, the shields. Look at this. Oh. This is not good. This is not good. You know what? I'm gonna make everybody an engineer. Axel, you can be an engineer too. Kieran, I'll leave on operations. Um, you can be also an engineer. Just fix everything. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> we may die, guys. This may be the last episode with the Starling. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, okay. That was really bad. Um, I know what I would do differently. I think I would prioritize weapons sooner. I would prioritize shields sooner. 
don't worry about bedding <laughs> and other silly things like that. Yeah, we spent some time moving stuff around. I feel like we were kind of unlucky in the beginning of the run without much silicon and that kind of delayed us a lot. But, um, you know, if it's true that ships target or the, the, the dangerousness of ships is based on your mass, um, then we definitely need weapons much, much sooner. All right, well, that was the final voyage of the Starling. I'm, I'm sorry that it ended that way, <laughs> but we shall have a new series uh, or a new ship soon. So if you would like to be on the new crew, um, let me know in the next video, and I will say that again in the next video because there's no point in saying it in this one. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.